Hi. Now in this video what I want to do is show you how we can work out the general equation of a tangent and a normal at a point P, let's say it's got coordinates A and B, to a rectangular hyperbola with equation xy equals c squared. Now in the usual way if we're trying to find the equation say of a tangent or a normal at this point here, then we need to get the gradient. And that requires differentiating our equation. Now you could rearrange this, you could make y the subject, or you could just differentiate it straight off using implicit differentiation. And that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, so we'll just differentiate that equation then with respect to x. And if we differentiate respect to x, we've got to use the product rule here. So it'll be, say, x multiplied by the differential of y with respect to x. That's going to be dy by dx. And then plus, and then we would differentiate x with respect to x, which would be 1, and then multiply it by y. Then if we differentiate the constant c squared with respect to x, that's going to be 0. So rearranging this to make dy by dx the subject, we therefore have dy by dx equals minus y, and then we would divide that by x. So we've got minus y over x. So at this general point here, we can say that when x equals a and y equals b, that the gradient at the point P is given by dy by dx which equals minus b over a. So therefore when it comes to working out the equation of the tangent, we'll just put an intro here, therefore the equation of the tangent at P, okay, it's going to be, well, I'm going to use the form for the equation of a line y minus y1 equals m, the gradient, times x minus x1. So if that's the case, we would therefore have y minus y1 being b equals m, the gradient, which is minus b over a, multiplied by x minus x1, x1 being the a there. You could leave it in this format, but uh, if we want to get rid of that fraction a, we would therefore multiply both sides by a, giving us ay minus ab equals, and here we just have minus b times that bracket, and if we expand that we're going to get minus bx plus ab. And I could rearrange this still, put it in the form uh, ax plus by plus the constant equals zero. So if we do that, I add bx to both sides, so you've got therefore bx plus ay. And then we've got to subtract ab from both sides, so we end up with minus 2ab, and that would equal zero. All right, so another form for the equation of tangent. So you could adapt this for whatever question you've got, you'll most probably have numbers here as well, okay? So that's the equation of a tangent. If we're asked to find the equation of the normal, then we need that gradient of the normal, and it's going to be the negative reciprocal of minus b over a. So the gradient of the normal would be a over b. Let's just put that down here. So the gradient of the normal, just put grad of norm, Okay, in fact, I'll write normal there. That's going to equal a over b. So, therefore, the equation of the normal, therefore, equation of the normal, we'll abbreviate that, equation of norm, just so we can fit this in here, it's going to be y minus y1 again, so it's going to be b equals the gradient a over b multiplied by x minus x1 x1 being the a. Could multiply both sides by b now, and therefore we would get by minus b squared equals, we'll just be left with a times x minus a here, so if we expand that we're going to get ax minus a squared. 
And I could rearrange this, just subtract by from both sides and add b squared to both sides. So I end up with another version, ax minus by minus a squared plus b squared, or even b squared minus a squared, and that would equal zero. All right, so hopefully that just gives you the general form of the equation of a tangent and the equation of a normal at a general point P with coordinates A and B when it's given in Cartesian form. Okay?